through boxing slash paquito language. We're on the ropes. They gotta go for the uh, for the well, Demzy roll or something because they gotta <laughs> they, yeah, they gotta turn this around. Go for the wild haymaker. Work off the force. That is what they want to attempt to happen. And uh, it's a standard to look here. Oh my Venus and Eslan just protecting wise in the mid lane on that Bruno. And rea in reality, Unraveling RTZ does not have any chance in the rotates there. And speaking of rotates, Eslan will uh, go for an invade as well as Oh my Venus to really dampen the time that you would go online in this fight. It's been a while since I've seen a proper 1 free 1 from a team. Usually it's very disjointed, but now they're really, really making sure that they stick together here. Mm -hmm. And uh, this should be a very interesting fight, at least especially in the early game. And the early game really matters here for Work Awesome Force. They need to get multiple team fights out of the way, get yep. individual pickoffs in order for them to really get the head, or at least the edge in the mid game against Blacklist International. Because no matter what happens, as soon as Oh My Venus and Eson reaches level 4, things are going to get difficult. Yeah, they definitely will. So watch out for those level 4, level 5, level 6, my friends. That is when Blacklist will start to put the pedal to the metal. On the other side, Work Oster Force's win condition obviously is to get you into optimal range once more. Make sure that you Unravel has a good pickoff with the uh, Circling Eagles. Now that's their only win condition here to get kills in the early game because the Lunox is going to take a while. And uh, again, while that's happening, yeah. Blacklist is Bruno just getting stronger and stronger every moment. It's getting uh, even minion waves in the mid lane, uh, in the top lane, just to get a little bit more edge onto Chu. And as we say that, the turtle will be started off by Chu himself. Unravel and RTZ have to do what they can to really get a little bit of more space from him. This uh, turtle will be crucial if it gets secured by Chu. And uh, it does get secured by himself. He does get it. And that is huge here for Work Oster Force. You're going to be able to get a lot of stuff done happening in the early game, especially with Unravel right now, whose Wisps seem to be making the pretty good mark onto the enemy. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Observer wants to highlight 3 Martizi there, and he understands that 3 Martizi is a crucial playmaker here on the lineup of Work Oster Force. Yeah, so we're gonna have to see whether or not this Bruno did get read out just by how Work plays. They, they're playing like they don't care about the Bruno at this point. Yeah, I mean, they're just letting him just get the farm. Yeah, go ahead and get your farm. It doesn't matter in the late game anyway. That's, uh, I think, what they're thinking. As Kosei is getting a brunt of the uh, the damage there from Wise. Oheb uh, obliges them with a kill onto him. As Unravel oh. uh, locks onto these people. Chu looking for an opportunity. Goes for the... Uh, that's Sonata connecting onto Wise. Oheb and Eson forced to fall back, forced to use the heal. Uh, Eson will not be able to keep Oheb alive. Yeah, we're at the point where the healing's just not quite there yet for Blacklist, so they're gonna have to back off a little bit and kind of have to respect the effort that Work is putting in here. Top lane, bottom lane, it's happened. We got some action. Oh, three more TZ actually going for the recall spam there in front of Edward, right next to his turret as well. Alright, I have seen that somewhere. And uh, we will see if it's gonna yield the same results. So now, Definitely a great start for Bla for Work Oster Force here. The mid lane's looking like they can uh, kind of keep Wise under control, which is saying something. Yeah, as long as they keep Wise uh, relatively behind, they bring uh, Chu will have a good time in this game. Uh, specifically, in this point in time where the lore, the turtle, I mean, is up. And Blacklist International has a priority. They can contest this. They have the firepower to force Blacklist out of position, but at the same time, the survivability of Eson and oh. the Wa and uh, Oh My Venus is actually there as they do get the speed buff up to get a little bit more movement speed in towards the back lines so of Work Oster Force. And Work Oster Force secures the Eternal, but at what cost? They take oh. down Unravel and 3 Martizi in the process as well as Artizi. Eson almost falling down as that's, well. That's double kill on the Oh My Venus. Lunox did get the turtle, so that's a great job, uh, at least for work, but basically was nullified with kills plus possible power here for Blacklist. So Blacklist, they're trying to, they're actually keeping up and they're on the right track here. Get even on goal. 
And on the top lane, the work also for us looking to get this kill onto Oheb. It is a three-man gank. And without a doubt, they will take down Oheb. Will potentially put the uh, turret down to a quarter HP and or eventually take it down as well. Yep, and this is going to be an easy fight here if they want to go for it. No Oheb means no solid frontliner. Even Edward is not really in an optimal position on the map. So... Uh, Blacklist is, for the meantime, they will not be able to be in, uh, to activate any engages. Oh, they find Edward, Edward goes for the knockout punch, and he is down! Where's that guy going, man? He, he, that was just not right. Uh, uh, I guess there was just no info on the map at that point. Everyone was hiding on the bush, but that was just not the right path to take. They didn't have to go through the turtle pit. The safer option is just yeah. to go back to your lane. He just needed to go back on lane. That was a safer option. He kind of... Uh, uh, and not to mention, Oheb was down that time. So, they, he was sorely needed in that one. Yeah. And that destroyed. is another turret down on the side of Blacklist International. Work awesome for it's doing a good job just securing objectives. They know for a fact that team fights is not where they're at right now yeah. in this moment. Just find victories elsewhere. Speaking of victories, they're looking like they're going for Oheb. Gets a stun up and Oheb is down once again. They are bullying Oheb hardcore right now. And this is not what Blacklist wants to be at right at this point. Work Oster Force is doing great. Maximizing the Mephilda. Maximizing the damage output that they do have in the early game. Because uh, obviously later in the later parts of the game, oh, uh, this area is going to be a lot more tougher. But yeah, they they have they see a window and they are m taking that opportunity. And I like how what Three Martizi is doing here as well, just staying in the jungle, getting information for Rurik Oster Force. He tried to go for Edward. He knows that he has the advantage over Edward right now at this specific moment. But he just backed off. He found four other mem three other members from uh, Blacklist International there, gave the information away to Work Oster Force, and started not going for the fight, moved elsewhere. Yeah, really loving the early game here for work so far. 3,000 goal lead separates these two teams. Brelin's gonna be activated as well. And now Blacklist, they're looking for a fight. The Detsunata collects, uh, connects onto All My Venus and Wise, and uh, just like that, yep, he'll up full HP. One Moon Immersion gets him back up to almost full. Mathilda on Unravel. It's also just doing a good job in keeping everyone relatively safe and secure with the shielding. Three Martizi just playing around the the brush that we have right now. That's four members in the bottom lane and then four members on the top lane for a work Oster Force as they did try to oh. siege up the top lane oh. turret. But meanwhile, in the mid lane, they're looking for a team fight here. It is a 4v3. No healings available. Fla uh, Flicker will be used by Esson. That's already two minutes out. That's a slight window for them to take him out. I like that from work. They forced the Blessing of the Moon Gods there coming in from Oh My Venus. Oh, gives them a little bit of an opening to go aggressive here in the mid lane. The aggression is uh, much obliged here for work also for because they need to take down the mid lane turret to finally open up the map for themselves. Uh, Kosei will oh, get knocked Edward? out a bunch by Edward. Gets the knock up. The damage is not there. Yeah, this time around, Blacklist is experiencing what Work was experiencing in the previous game, where the range is only up to Wise. Yeah, and uh, goodbye, uh, RTZ. That's without a, a doubt, dead, you're dead. That's a dead Lunox if I've ever seen one. Mm -hmm. But he still managed to survive. He's buying a lot of time, though. Buying a lot of time. We see the rotation from Work Officer Force towards the top lane. Uh, Chu will focus on the mid lane here onto Edward. It's the Mathilda and the Alice for Work Officer Force to focus on the top lane to try to keep it alive. And this Alice has to be alive. Blood Orb out of there. Unravel there to assist him if ever things go sour. They still manage to keep the top lane turret alive. Yep. They're still definitely. Uh, Work Officer Force definitely can still flex some of that damage and some of that uh, durability that they do have and um, capitalizing on the lack of range here from Blacklist definitely is working out for work. And the Lord is up, not the uh, primary target here for either of these teams, but judging by the state that we have on the map, there's really nothing much that both of these teams can do to affect the map. Might as well just take the Lord and get the uh, effectivity of a, an easy push out of the way. As RTZ takes down Esson, and that's that's a small opening. That's the Rafaela out of the out of the game for 19 seconds. 
they are finally starting up the Lord themselves. RTZ looking to zone out the rest of Blacklist International, but it's not the uh, best hero to use. Kosei just trying to dish out a little bit more damage. The uh, Retribution is available, and they turn on Oh My Venus. Smart call by Work Officer Force to take down the healers and the supports of the game to eventually get the subsequent kills. Subsequent kills, I mean. Edward next in line here for 3 Martizi and Kosei. Work Officer Force has to back off here. Essence finally up in the fight. Might as well just secure the Lord themselves and they will manage to do so. Oh, but, you know, Unravel gets hit. You know, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Lord does go over the, uh, to Work Officer Force here. Weiss evaporated in the middle of that fight earlier. The moment that they lost Oh My Venus, all their durability just went out the window. And the Necklace of Durans actually is helping uh, keep Blacklist in check in this game. And going back to the draft earlier on, it seems as though as Work has read the draft from Blacklist International. They don't care if they give Bruno the wise. And they don't care about Oheb getting this uh, Uranus as well because he will fall down. This Earth will fall down as well. They're doing a good job just focusing on uh, Estes and Rafaela. Take them out, then you can win the fights. Yeah, definitely working out so far so good here for Work Oster Forest. Edward trying to see if he can get into a boxing match against Edward. Again, just kind of forces... Good dive in there by Kose! Getting the Microsoft onto three members, getting the Winter Truncheon up as well, getting three down to half HP, and this is an opening for Work Oster Force to keep pushing it forward. Top lane turret and the mid lane turret is down. The siege is real for Work Oster Force. Kose, what a madman. Yep, that is basically it. I think this game is just needs a little bit of closing out here. I think Wise is a little bit too far behind in terms of economy. His hits are not one hitting. And that's where you want a Bruno to be if you want it to be effective. That is not the case here. Oheb does not want to fall down here. Unravel and Arteezy just making the shots work here. Backline, three Arteezy looking for an opening to go for the way of the dragon. Unravel in the backline gets a three man stun, takes down Oh My Venus at the same time. The uh, Order Brilliance will be forced out by Arteezy to stay alive, but three Arteezy did a good job just uh, making the rest of Blacklist International turn towards him. Opens up Unravel. That was beautiful. I hope we can get a replay of that one because I really want to see. The big boss plays coming in from Kosei there. And he only just completed Lightning Trunch. And imagine if he had it in that fight. That would have been an instant wipeout. An instant GG as well. My goodness. Uh, this is how you play Alice. Uh, finally uh, picking up the uh, slack from game number one as Work Oster Force looking to go for the ending here. But there's not a lot of minions, uh, minion waves pushing. The problem here for Blacklist International is that they need to keep three Martizi in check. Would yeah. you agree? That's right. Uh, they are going to need a miracle play as well to deal with the split that work is doing. The split is just too good to be uh, to handle here for work, Oster Force. Blacklist, they need to really stick together. And how do you do that? Who do you send out to the far edges of the map to defend the split push of work? The Lord that will be spawning in one minute, but I don't think we'll reach a point where they where Work Off Force actually needs the Lord, but they need to win this team fight because Blacklist International is in tatters here. Oh my Venus down, uh, chewed low on HP, but it doesn't matter. But look at the back lines, Kosei, Winter Truncheon, getting out a lot of damage out. Oh, Hev gets taken out, even Blood Orbs into the fountain, it doesn't matter. Unravel, uh, low on HP, doesn't matter. Edward and Wise, the only ones defending this uh, impending doom for themselves. And Kosei. Can I get an MVP if he wins this? He, he's definitely going to be MVP of this one. A lot of these plays that, we, that work is doing would not have been possible if not for the early game rotates of Kosei and, of course, the late game plays that he's doing. That is just, uh, that's what's making the, that's becoming the difference maker here for work versus black. Now, 10 seconds for Work Officer Force to secure this Lord, and they do have the priority. All the lanes are, pushed to are pushing towards the side of Blacklist International. And 3 Martins, he flickers in, goes for the Wave of the Dragon, uh, just to buy a lot oh. of time, but he does not want to get taken out, and he barely manages to uh, stay alive. Yeah, again, OI Venus just keeping Wise in check here, making sure he is alive and healthy and ready to fight whenever he gets picked off. This is uh, another fight the Blacklist International has to win 
the uh, Death Sonata has been used. Unravel gets two stuns onto Eslan and to Oh My Venus, and they take down Oh My Venus. That is the opening. They also take down Edward. That is just Wise and Eslan left alive in this team fight. And Blacklist International are just moments away from losing this game and work also for forcing game number three. And it's just Eslan. There's nothing much that he could do. This is it. Game two. We'll go to work, Officer Force. Game three will be forced out 